Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to. Pardon me. Let's play uh, Skies of Arcadia. In the last episode, we beat um, the Lands of Ice, the Dungeon of Glacia, and took on a an optional boss. Well, boss, an optional ship battle, not really a boss, boss. And as I said, we're back at Crescent Island, and I hit the wrong button. And as you can see, our living quarters have been remodeled. We're back. They're back! And the hull seems to be in one piece! <laughs> of course it's in one piece! A little ass isn't gonna hurt it one bit! Don't do that with your mouth, dude! Captain Vass, about that book from Yafatoma. I built an engine for you, using the plans in that book. Until now, you haven't been able to fly above or below the clouds because the pressure differences were too hard on your engine. But now, that's not a problem. You'll be able to fly over mountains and beneath large islands. You'll be flying all over the damn place. Yeah. Really? That's great. When can you install it? I'll install it tomorrow morning at the crack of dawn. <laughs> With the new engine, we'll be able to travel to more places than ever before. Yeah. All right, everyone to the meeting room. Let's decide where to go next. Yeah, so today, um, I don't know how much we're gonna do. Uh, it might even be a short episode. It's a lot of it. You got anything else to say? <laughs> uh, you're, you and Ismail seem to have a... Uh, seem to think alike. So, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, I sort of want to look at the... Uh, here we go. I want to look at these things. Okay, it's Clara and... Is that Gilder? Is that Gilder? I think that's one of Gilder's symbols. What the hell? Why did we do that to our base? I don't know. I'm not sure. Alright, um... We can do some new things here on Crescent Island, which I'm going to do before we head to the meeting room. Alright. So, first of all, let's talk to Osman. Please, take a look around. I've got items galore. Uh, let's see what she actually has. Just more boxes. Okay. It was worth it. Look. Let me tell you, Captain, I feel so lucky to be part of your crew. There aren't quite as many men like you in the world before, anymore. But just give me the sign, and I'll show you how womanly I can be. <laughs> Leave. Quickly. Please come again, and be sure to bring plenty of gold with you, too. It's not her looks, it's her personality. I mean, I'm also not fond of her fashion sense. But... Uh, I've got a collection of some of the finest weapons that you'll ever see. Uh, let's see what you've got, just in case there's anything new. Okay, I didn't think so. Uh, we could sell him some stuff. I'm not selling that, but let's sell him... Uh, actually, I'm keeping those. Uh, Sleep-inducing items can be nice. Screw it. I We're still... Uh, talk to Rukan. Yeah, the time youth is escaping me, okay. I just thought I'd see if you said anything new, because Osman does. I like how his eyes open when he says goodbye. So yeah, I wanted to show that thing with Osman. <laughs> yeah, I think Vice likes, you know, nice people. Let's talk to Khalifa. Or Kirala. Captain, need anything remodeled? I can from Tomb and flavor to our base. Uh, I want her to decorate the island. What do you want? I want a fountain in the plaza. Natural and elegant, or in praise of the moons. I'm going with natural and elegant. You can change this, by the way. Um, see, the living quarters now are distinctly nicer looking.
Got anything new to say? Hey, let me see the Yaffa. I learned how to build an engine using wave motion technology. Not to be confused with a wave motion gun. And how to rig the sail so your ship can hover. I learned so much! Getting out of Alua was probably the sky. It's blue. I've never seen a blue sky before. And the clouds are white. I thought they were all dark like the ones in Valua. Hey, don't laugh. If you lived in Lower City your whole life, you'd understand. Oh, no, I get it. I found a lot of islands where some really interesting animals live. Where is the island, you ask? Heh, <laughs> it's a secret. Well, if you're only interested in the animals, I can bring some back here. It'll take 500 gold to pay for the... Sure, go ahead. Go ahead and catch some for the island. But first, what kind of animals would you like? Something cute from the east, something colorful from the south, and something scary looking from the west. I'm gonna go with colorful from the south. I have no idea about a lot of this. Uh, let's go talk to Moegi. I mean, oh wow, look at the path. Yeah, I mean, we, the whole place is just looking more and more awesome. This is a very beautiful island. Okay, this is just the same thing. Hey, a lot of these people are saying new things. Um, okay. Yeah, this pond thing will be a fountain. I'm not going to deal with Khalifa just yet. Need something remodeled? Yeah, uh, I want you to remodel the tavern. Yes. Because we're not really doing much with Golden. You can see Gonzalez's uh, tomb has changed again. And this whole area has changed. It's it's really cool to see this place change and grow. It's one of many things that's really, really fun about this game. I I, I had to go with natural and elegant. I mean, I really like Yafutomen. I, I like Japanese aesthetics to some extent. Hey, Captain, I can watch over the air in Ireland here. Ismail took some of Brabham's food when he wasn't looking. Uh, that seems to be a running thing with those two. I suppose he will probably have new things to say. I might check with him tomorrow after we sleep. Alright, we've got the purple crystal. All that's left are yellow and silver. The Sylvite Elders already have the silver crystal. So we really only have to worry about the yellow crystal. It looks like our mission is almost finished. Hmm. But wait, wasn't the yellow crystal located in the Maw of Tardis in Valua? Last time we went there, we couldn't get in because the opening was sealed. Five. Yes, the Valuans have made several unsuccessful attempts at removing the seal. But perhaps we might be able to bypass the seal with the Delphinus' new engine. According to the geologists of the Valuan Empire, the lower layers of the Valuan Islands are filled with cracks and fissures. In other words, there's a whole system of subterranean tunnels running through Valua. So all we have to do is fly around underneath Valua and look for an opening. Gee, what's that in the center? Could it be a Gigas? Come on, at this point. Let's see. So in other words, if we can't get in from the top, we'll try and get in from the bottom. Yep. Yes. We'll fly below Valua and look for an opening underneath the island. Once we get inside the tunnels, we should be able to find the crystal. <laughs> Since we can fly higher and lower than we ever have before, we might as well take advantage of it. Uh -huh. Exactly. Let's rest up today. We'll leave for Valua first thing tomorrow morning. Now, there is a shitload of stuff to do. I'm not calling it here. Um, but there's like, how many discoveries? There are 17 more discoveries left in the game. Um... Which, uh, let's go back to the meeting room, by the way. Yeah, the, it, it's going to take him a little, Ismail, a little while. I want, one, I want to talk to Tikatika and see if he says anything different since it's technically a new day. Two. I want to actually go into the meeting room and you'll see why. Ooh, Marco. Not a good idea. Marco has a stomachache. I think you drink water from the pond. I d so, yeah. He'll say different things. Hey, look who's here. Hey, Vice. How's it going? Still trying to explore as much of the world as you can, I see. Duh. 
Well then, let me check out your discovery log. Ah, oh, you've made 47 discoveries. That's the spirit. Finding someone with a discovery log as full as yours would be a discovery in itself. Do I get one? No. Like I promised, here's a little something I put together for you. He'll do this when you get over 40 discoveries. Once you make 50 discoveries, I'll give you another present. So we need to come back here after um, three discoveries, because if you wait until you've gotten all 17 of the discoveries out there, um, you miss his present. I'm pretty sure. So I want to get our newest and last crew member. Eh, sorry. Eh. Got something in my mouth. Um, let's, let's go back to our ship. We're going to go off. I want to get the next crew member and maybe some of those discoveries. <sighs> because something wonderful has happened. So, you know how we can now... Well, once, once we talk to... Let's just walk... Ask. It's, it, it doesn't matter. I love doing that. It's just fun. With that, it, yep, place I can't wait. Well, yeah, you've done it, so we should be able to get on now. So, return to our ship. We can now fly above and below the clouds, as you will see. And that does something rather interesting. Yeah, notice how much bigger our uh, gauge is. I need to check the map. So, okay, we're, we're north. Somewhere in these skies, not too far from here, there is a rainbow. But I'm going to get that later. All right. Uh, let's see. North. Because we want to go over and around Valua is the thing. But get check this out. We are now above the clouds, and we can get pretty high. Guess what we can do now that we are can go above the clouds and can go above places like Valua? Let's see. There's no... There are no attacks up here. No random battles. Above or below the clouds, there are no random battles. They're only in the cloud area. So. So, yep. We just need to be here in the north of Valua. Let's see. Keep going north. Um, you remember the Philosopher's Stone? Uh, I want to check the map just because, yeah, okay. Huh, we're not actually that far from the Maw of Tardis. But we're too high to trigger anything, don't worry. But yeah, that's as well, we're, as long as we're up here, we're just fine. There's nothing, oh wait, I'm going west. I'm going the entire wrong way. Ugh, oink oink. Okay, I'm I'm probably we need to head east again. I would say northeast. So yeah, you remember the philosopher's stone we found, and I did notice that there was an island up high. Let's come a bit lower. I think that's good. Well, there should be an island around here somewhere. Okay, I'm. Map. I'm too, I'm too, maybe I'm too far. Huh. Okay, let's go down. Uh. Okay, there's the Philosopher's Stone. And there's the island. Great, we'll go back up. I managed to just miss it in the draw distance. It's a thing. Uh, before we go in there... Don't need to check the map, dumbass. What I need to do is check Fina's spells. Okay, do you see how we have Reselem on Fina? And Enrique. Yeah. And on uh, Aika. You have to have Reselem on at least one member of your party to get this last crew member. So. All right. 
This is an interesting place. Hmm. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm just looking for something. Okay. This strange object looks like it's the heart of all the machinery in this room. I wonder what it's used for. I probably shouldn't touch anything. But around here... Yeah, okay. Crud, I, know, I sh knew I should have looked it up before I came. There's a cham near this machine. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember where it is. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I ah, there we go. Luckily, it's not a big enough room to really worry about it. So, hi. Well, well, I never expected to get visitors way out here. My name is Ilkimus. I have come to this island to further my studies of various medicines. You're on this island alone to study? You're quite strange. <laughs> You're probably right. I've been called strange ever since I was a child. I was always asking questions. Why does water float when it freezes? I can answer that one. Why is the sky blue? I can answer that one. But that calls to mind another question. What brings you to this island anyway? Uh, it doesn't matter what you say. He will pretty much say the same thing in response. Nothing, really. We were just exploring and decided to see what was on this island. <laughs> I've been living on this island for nearly ten years now, and you are the first visitors I've ever had. I have nothing to offer, but you're free to come visit anytime you wish. It's nice to hear another voice once in a while. You can ask him to join uh, the crew, but he will basically say no. What you have to do is leave and come back, and you have to have someone in the party... Who knows Resalem? It doesn't have to be Vice, which is good, because Vice is the only person in the party who has not learned Resalem. He doesn't learn silver magic very quickly. Even Enrique knows Resalem, which is kind of amazing. So now... Okay. Maybe I have to ask him to join the crew, too. We are in need of a doctor. I'm no doctor. I'm a chemist. I study medicines and such. I'm sorry, I cannot travel with you. Okay. Yeah, I guess you have to you'd have to ask him to join the crew, then leave, then come back. Okay, so I was slightly wrong. Eh. Alright. Now once we get him, he's going to set up shop on Crescent Island, and he'll sell healing items, and if you give him a thousand gold, he can start selling stat boosting seeds. Except, weirdly, he will not sell um, one particular time. But, and he'll also sell a full heal, but it can't be used in battle. Oh, hello. Vice, was it? What brings you here again? Will you join my crew? I will ask you again. Will you join my crew? I was not planning to leave this island anytime soon. Well, in fact, I was once a nobleman of Valua. I threw all of that away. I don't blame you. In order to come here and pursue my studies... I have no intention of returning to the world. The only person I will leave this island to travel with is he who has a heart full of wisdom and love. That'd be Enrique. When a man capable of casting the silver magic Rieselim shows himself at my doorstep, I know that man is the one I want will follow. Rieselim? Actually, we know that spell. W what? You learned that incredibly difficult spell? It wasn't that hard. Just whack things with silver moonstones equipped. I see. Then that means you have a heart full of wisdom and love. No, it means I have a cutlass and a silver moonstone. I have been waiting for people such as yourselves. Please, take me with you. I can only hope that my research can be of some use to you. So yeah, Ilkimus has joined your crew as an artisan. Basically, Ryu can as well. So, um, we're gonna, no, this way. We're gonna check our crew. We have a full crew complement, which we technically had before. Uh, let's see, yeah, he raises attack and defense. He raises our ship's attributes. That's like dodge and stuff. I believe. I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave just Ryukan on for now. So yeah, he that is our last crew member. We now have a full crew. All right. So let's see here. Um, check the map because it's me. Right, I want to be going southeast. Most more east than south.
All right, so now we're going to go this way, and nothing's going to get in our way because we're above the cloud layer. Isn't that great? We can also go below it, and there are discoveries both above and below the clouds. We've found every discovery that's under them. Amazingly, we can also go over the dark rift. Uh, you can't go under it, but you can go over it. Every other sky rift really only goes between the clouds, but we can go... Okay, there's the red moon. Hmm. Oh, wow. We're, we're really close to Nost. Aha! Well, there's one. Yeah, this one's almost impossible to miss. So we're going to go get it right now. You have found the Iron Star. A strange object said to be launched by the ancient civilization of the Red Moon. Its purpose has been long forgotten, but its legends say that its eye could see the entire world. Even now, sailors fly navigate by its rhythmic flashing light. So they had satellites. Okay, and now we've got the rainbow. Cue Kermit the Frog. You have found the Rainbow Island. What lies at the end of the rainbow? It's a question everyone asks when they are all young, but, per but as they grow older, it is often forgotten. Perhaps only the few who remember can find the legendary island at the end of the rainbow. And there's a pot of gold, I assume. Let's see, so northwest of Nasrod. Uh, well, let's go down. Uh, we're pretty close to Nasrod. So we're gonna go down, because what we're looking for is actually at low altitudes now. And, again, we should pretty much see them. Yeah, welcome to the Undercloud level. This is as far as you can go, by the way. Okay, so. Alright, here's Nasrod. We want to start here, and then head north. And west. I'm fairly sure it's basically under the Valuan continent. And there they are. We're going to talk to these. You have found the dancing lights. A natural phenomenon that can be seen underneath the Valuan continent, it is said to be caused by electricity from the yellow moonstones in the Valuan soil. Some say that it is caused by a giant creature that lies deep inside the ground. I wonder what that is. I'll give you a hint, it ain't the Quake Catfish. Okay. Let's see, um, a few seconds north of the dancing lights, but lower. So, north. We want to go low, 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 low. Somewhere along here, there they are. You have found the rabbits. A strange creature that spends its entire life hanging upside down by digging its claws into the rock face. Until it was discovered underneath the Valuan continent, it was thought to be a myth. Its intelligence and ferocity belie its cute appearance. That actually, yeah, that actually is a good um, use of the term belie. It, it sometimes gets misused. Uh, to belie something is to give the lie to it. Or, wow. Um, map. Okay, we're, we're right near Crescent Island, so, uh, up. 50s. Fishies! Alright. I'd rather not get hit again, so we're just gonna go, you know, yeah, so no more worrying about random battles. You may still want to deal with them, but, you know. So we're gonna go back to Crescent Island. I'm gonna turn in everything I've got. And we're going to save. And tomorrow I'm going to go out and do all the rest of the discoveries. There are still 13 discoveries that we can uh, that we can find in a lot of different places. So let's go. We're going to go up and just talk to Domingo. I'm not going to bother talking to anybody else. Well, Tika Tika. Because I think Tika Tika is funny. He says... He says great things. I mean, seriously, the writing in this game is amazing. Uh, a lot of the script really was inspired by Joss Whedon's work on Buffy. 
um, as well, the translated script was inspired by Whedon's work on Buffy, the dialogue. So, and yeah, you see the tavern has been, that's, that's the thing is, um, things like that basically get, and I think you can upgrade. He would build a stage for me to dance on, but he does not have enough money. Do you have more money? Ismail said it would take 500 gold to build. Yeah, I can do that. I will tell Ismail right now. Yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, let's see. When I heard this place used to be... Oh, you're, you don't see anything new. Okay. A lot of the ingredients that I normally use in Yafutoma are really hard to get over here. I wanted everyone to get a taste of Yafutoman food, but the ingredients are so expensive here. They'll take at least a thousand gold. Go for it. Do you know how much... Sh I, I, I can sell some shit. Absolutely, darling. Sure, don't worry about it. But you made her make us some really good food. Thank you very much. I'll get started right away. How are you doing? Have you not taken a bath yet or shaved? Hey, Polly. I expect he won't say anything. And some of Arala's food. It's great. Good. I'm glad you two are getting along. Let's check out the fountain while we're here. Yeah, natural and elegant. I think if you do In Praise of the Moons, you get this gigantically ridiculous thing. And I'm just... I kind of just prefer natural and elegant. I like that. I think it looks pretty. Is that a tree with flamingos? It is. Why is there... Oh, those are the things from the south. No, well, Marco still has a stomachache. He drank water from the pond. All right. So let's get, we have 51 discoveries. Let's get our present from Domingo. Discovery log, 51 discoveries. I am something else, a white map. And then if we fill up the discovery log, which there's 64 discoveries, which it, that's gonna take a while. But the white map, it, it um, basically lowers encounter rates and that's pretty nice um i can't remember what else it does so why don't we take a look vice items okay it's a it looks like it's a key item or it, it's a no it isn't it's an accessory yep it improves your chances of running away okay so yeah, the black map gives you a better chance of a first strike, but ups the encounter rate. That's something to use if, say, you want to grind for things like freaking um, instant death protection, which I honestly probably ought to do before I get into the really nasty parts of the... Let's see. I think we're good for a while for upgrading things. Though I might ask Marco to bring me some more anim- or not Marco, um, yeah, so those are the- those are the colorful animals from the south. Let's ask him for to bring some cute stuff from the east. We'll see if it's there tomorrow when I open the doors. Yes! They're perfect! Thanks for catching him, Penta. Okay, you have to trade them out, and I want to leave them for now, because I like them. Um, so, we're just going to save it here. So, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. I will see you guys next time. Have a great evening. And... Oh, and of course, next time we're going to go around and basically do all the discoveries we can possibly do. So, I will see you guys next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.